Hi, welcome to DrSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about swollen lymph nodes. I often have people coming into clinic um, worried to death about finding a lump in their neck, um, taking out life insurance policies, I'm just joking, um, worried uh, because they feel this uh, thing in their neck that's, that wasn't there a couple weeks ago. Sometimes the lump is tender, most times not. Uh, sometimes it's there for a week or less, sometimes for a couple of weeks. Um, one of the strange things is that almost invariably it's always somebody younger who is not particularly at risk for um, some kind of a, a neck cancer like a lymphoma. And it's usually the, the people who are highest at risk, like people in their towards the end of their lifespan, that don't come in when they find a neck in their lump, uh, sorry, a lump in their neck, and they're the ones that are really at risk. The younger folks, uh, usually what it is is just something called an activated lymph node. So to understand what a, a lymph node is, the, the neck area under your armpits and in the groin and around your neck in this region here, um, your body has set up a, a bunch of sentry stations so these sentries basically guard against or try to sequester any infective process or irritant that lands in the area and stop it from being able to spread systemically. So it actually, the lymph node, as the name implies, um, is actually a collection of bumps which uh, interconnect into a like a like a web. So it's just like in a computer system how you talk about nodes. Well, in the neck, it's the same thing. There's a bunch of these um, lymph glands which interconnect like a web around the neck area under the armpits and in the groin <clears throat> that act as a line of first defense against uh, miscreants. The lymph part of it comes from the fact that it's derived from lymph tissue. And lymph tissue simply means that it's part of the defense uh, dedicated tissues of the body. So it's, if you could cut open um, one of these lymph nodes, inside you'd find that there's a whole bunch of white blood cells or we could call them, in effect they're basically your body's policemen sequestered in a police station which is the lymph node. So this is one node here. And then these police stations are all interlinked. into a web or you could call it a web or a chain. Now most of the time when there's no insults in the area the lymph nodes stay really small or what we would call involuted and then if something comes along in the area say like say she's got a pimple here or she just had a sore throat just had a, f a cold or flu or she just had mono the lymph node that's most uh, directly corresponds to the area of insult or injury will will start to swell up as the policemen inside realize that there is a problem or some kind of a hazard and they start to multiply so the white blood cells start to go crazy and just like a, a balloon the lymph node expands to try to to keep up with the um, expansion of, of its contents and this serves a very useful purpose um, because without that system you could have uh, an invader, say at this pimple here, uh, and you probably know already, pimples um, are teeming with bacteria inside of them. That's what causes them to turn into pustules. But if you didn't have this uh, lymph node system, you could easily imagine that um, this area with a, a small small amount of contaminants would suddenly explode and be able to, to spread systemically. So these guys serve a very useful purpose in, in controlling or or warding off or um, sequestering uh, these bacterial and viral miscreants uh, in an area and stopping them from making sick in general. Of course the system doesn't always work, sometimes it fails. Um, so the, the main thing you need to understand about these activated lymph nodes, which is the swollen lymph node, is that they take um, somewhere between four to six weeks after the insult is removed, so after the pimple is gone, the cold is gone, your mono is gone, for them to shrink back to their original size where you can't feel them. 
So once it's not the size of a golf ball and it hasn't been there for more than six to eight weeks, the only pill you'll need to take is a chill pill. Quit picking at it, poking it, prodding it. That tends to irritate and make it uh, heal slower. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is um, big swollen lymph glands in a nutshell. Uh, thanks for watching and stay well.